Okay, everybody, I'm going to do a Star Wars video now. And there was a director, um, Patty Jenkins. Uh, you might know her from, she directed Wonder Woman, the first one, and with that with uh, Gal Gadot, and Wonder Woman 2 with Gal Gadot. And she got the gig of directing Star Wars Rogue Squadron about the X-Wing fighter pilots. So it looked like it was put on hold for a while. But that was like a while ago. Uh, probably back in like 2021 or so. And then... Maybe it was 2021, I think. Or maybe 2022. I don't know, somewhere around there. And then... Because she was going to direct Wonder Woman 3. And then she had another movie she was going to do, but the other movie fell through, and then she only had Wonder Woman 3. And then James Gunn, who did Guardians of the Galaxy, took over for DCU and changed things. I don't think he fired her, but he wanted to go in a different direction, and they didn't use Patty Jenkins to direct Wonder Woman. I think they're getting a new Wonder Woman, which I think is a mistake. I think, uh, unless Gal Gadot doesn't want to do it anymore or something. So, it came out just a right after the Oscars, I would say. Um, Patty Jenkins did an interview where she said, soon after um, Wonder Woman fell through, so I think this was 2002 when it all fell through, she basically got a call from Disney and they're like, we want you to finish up your contract, uh, you know, write up your contract for your movie you're going to do for us, um, Rogue Squadron, and, and do that. And so she, she basically wrote a script, and it's finished, the first draft, and now it's got to be, like, tinkered with, you know, Disney has to be okay with it, she has to be okay with it. The whole reason she wanted to do it was because her dad was a fighter pilot in, I don't know what war, but he died in action. And she always wanted to do a, a movie fitting enough about an X-Wing fighter pilot. So she, that was it. That was like, I'm doing this. She's, she's like, I got to do this because uh, in honor of my dad. And it looks like it's going to happen now. It looks like her script is done. Um, they they could have announced it earlier, but because of the, the strikes and whatnot, they couldn't announce it. I guess it was, like, not professional, but that whole time she was writing the script for it. So there's a first draft out already, and uh, next stage is getting it right, tinkering with it. Disney has to be okay with the script. Maybe tell her we want changes here, here, and there. That's usually how it goes down. And they tighten up the script to where they want it. And then once they got it to where they're going to get it, they're going to start casting it. And so, yeah, the, basically the um, movie is practically like the script is done. It just has to be. Um, you know, finished at this point, and I would like to see Gal Gadot get a get a part in this. And and as for Jenkins, I really liked Wonder Woman one and two, and I know a lot of people didn't like the second one, but I'm from the Washington area, seeing the Capitol. Not the Capitol, the Washington Monument, and seeing the Smithsonian, the Air and Space Museum, seeing the the Natural History Museum, and the the bad guy was like a Trump guy, and when I saw it, it was right before the ca attack on the Capitol. So, I mean, it, it rang home really true to me because I'm a I'm a progressive liberal who votes Democrat. And I did not like Trump, and, and that was just really scary for me, a scary time for me. You know, it was almost like a, a president that didn't want to give up power. You know, almost like a dictator. Um, so, 
the bad guy in it, played by Pedro Pascal, was like Trump. So that and what was going on at the time with Trump not wanting to leave office. And so I really like that movie. I think Jenkins is a great choice. I think um, you have two things going on. One, people that don't like women directors and women in general. They're anti-feminist. And two, people just didn't like the movie Wonder Woman 2 and don't like her because of it. Even though Wonder Woman 1 was excellent, you can't say much negative about that. So, everybody, the movie's back on. It's been on for a while. They just couldn't announce it because of the strikes. And they're making Star Wars Rogue One. No, Rogue Squadron. Star Wars Rogue Squadron. So, that's happening, people. Patty Jenkins, Rogue Squadron. May the force be with you.